Oh, man, uh, it looked like a dartboard last night for Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup on that final possession. They targeted their best player. Cooper Cup steps up, and like he's done throughout the entire postseason, in the fourth quarter, made huge plays that won the game and that won MVP for the Rams wide receiver. What he's done this year is unlike anything we've we've ever seen. Uh, he won the receiving triple crown, which is yards, catches, and touchdowns. You've got uh, the he, he wins over uh, last week. He wins offensive player of the year. He wins the Super Bowl MVP. And when you start looking around of all time in NFL history, Jerry Rice is the only wide receiver in NFL history to do all of those things in an entire career. Cooper Cup did it in one season for the Los Angeles Rams. And he had a playoff record 33 catches in a postseason. His last three games, 28 catches, 423 yards, five touchdowns. And 20 of those 28 catches either moved the chains or scored a touchdown. On top of that, the production that he had in the fourth quarter speaks volumes about the clutch ability that both he and Stafford and that rapport that they have. He set an NFL postseason record, 208 yards in the fourth quarter. And he had at least one catch of 20 or more yards in every game this postseason in the fourth quarter. So one explosive play every single game in the playoffs by Cooper Cup came in the fourth quarter. Impactful. And not just impactful, I mean, MVP worthy. I mean, I, I'm just thinking, you know, back to uh, recent great receivers. You know, could Calvin Johnson, who, you know, I, I have no doubt about Calvin Johnson's greatness, absolutely terrific receiver, first ballot Hall of Fame. Could, could he have done last night what Cooper Cup did? I'm not so sure that that he could have. And I'm saying that not to downgrade Calvin Johnson. I'm saying it to to shine a light on just how great Cooper Cup is and his ability to get open all the time. I mean, Calvin Johnson is a is a go up and and take it away from you at any time kind of guy. So it would be a different different kind of thing. But the ability to stop on a dime, turn and get open, some of these routes that we've talked about in the past uh, that he wasn't necessarily using last night with this um, goal line area stuff where he could stop and, and turn so quickly in such a short area. I just think he's doing some things that some all-time greats didn't do. Now, maybe there's some things they did that he – I'm not saying he's Jerry Rice, but I, I think he's very, very unique. He also – I saw another stat where this season his amount of receptions – is greater than the leading receiver in 81 and 82 combined. He's got two more catches than Kellen Winslow, who won the receiving title both those years, which is another incredible Cooper Cup stat. Um, he's six foot two, and there's something about the guy where he looks small the way he plays. He does. But yet he can play both small or big. I mean, he is a true flex type guy. He plays in a way that he seems like a small guy running around quicker than everyone, getting open, but yet when the throw calls for him to play big and go up and get it or shield the defender and make the play, he can do that too. I mean, to me, it's his versatility that's just incredible to watch. It's the, it's the rhythm with Matthew Stafford in year one mixed with the versatility. It's, it's been fun to watch. I mean, it's... How much longer can this keep going? Maybe not this season statistically, but with those two together, it's it's going to be a fun duo to watch for however long they're in L.A. And we're not factoring in Woods, who, who can be back. I thought Van Jefferson was a, a little bit disappointing last night. I don't know how distracted he was by the fact that his wife went into labor. I, I, I read that he wasn't told um, until after the game when he ran out of the celebration. Uh, Sean Jefferson scooped him up and, and got him to the hospital, and he was there for the birth of his uh, uh, his child. Um, but there were there were moments where I felt like he wasn't into it, uh, or, or or wasn't as 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 present and aggressive as as he needed to be, which disappointed me um, because I, I I thought he <clears throat> and he has been at times a capable third in in uh, what they had going, but I didn't think they could count on him last night in the same way that they needed to. Um, 
but give give them back uh, a healthy Odell Beckham who needs to resign and Woods. I don't know what his contract status is, um, and it should be even better for Cooper Cup. He's not a, Woods is not a free agent. Um, their their free agents are Beckham, Von Miller, Sony Michelle, uh, Matt Gay, their kicker. Um, uh, the rest are uh, Joseph Noteboom. Uh, the the rest he could be their starting left tackle. Yeah, worth uh, retire. Right. So I mean, there's there's the rest are just a handful of of role players. But that, again, that they want those guys back. But the, those they're are the marquee true. free agents. Uh, and and Cooper Cup. The going we, earlier in the show, if you missed it, you can go back on the on the podcast and find it wherever you download your audio. We had a discussion about the rapport of Matthew Stafford and Cooper Cup. There's only if you count the playoffs, um, Stafford and Cup combined for 22 touchdowns on the season. There's only one quarterback wide receiver duo that had more in NFL history, and that's Brady and Randy Moss, who had 24 in 2007. Um, so no, to answer your question, Paul, I don't think you're going. To, I mean, we, we saw we we saw Megatron team up with the same quarterback in Stafford, and there's just a different. Uh, there's just a different level that that you see from from Cup because he can be used in so many different ways. I like what Chad said about him being able to kind of be big and small. Well, and it, I just well, they're I, even giving him a, a carry for a first down in that. Game, I can usually watch a receiver play or a player and think, okay, this player's a lot like this player. I can come up with an immediate comp, just even visually at times watch them play. I have a hard time doing that for Cooper Cup. I think a guy that you continue to bring up, Jerry Rice. I mean, Jerry Rice could do everything. Cooper yep. Cup does everything. That that was Jerry Rice's specialty was he could run past you. He would go across the middle. He had sure hands. Uh, he could make tough catches. He could do it all. And they're, I, I'm, I'm going to look up Jerry Rice right now. I bet you they're pretty similar sizes. When you look at the two guys, I yeah. want to say Rice might be 6'1 and not 6'2, but I bet they're pretty close. Cooper Cup is 6'2, 208. But you go and back. he seems like a guy who plays like he's 5'10 you know, 190 pounds, and then other times he plays like a guy who's 6'4". 